Okay, well, we're talking to all the California guys in the American Le Mans series, and this is kind of like coming home for you, isn't it, Tommy? It really is. You know, being you know being from Hollywood my whole life, yes. and uh, starting off as a street racer, you know, kind of illegally in uh, Hollywood Hills and Mulholland. You know, you come out here on the street, and it's pretty damn cool. You know what? How, I mean, it must be an amazing dream. You're living your dream here in the American Le Mans series, driving. How long have you been doing this? You know, I started. Prof I started a little late in life, uh, uh, driving professionally, and I started about nine years ago, ten years ago. And actually, uh, in 2000, I won this race in the Trans Am series. And uh, we just won the Trans Am championship uh, in 2009. So I'm on a pretty good roll here. And uh, you know, I got picked up by Mike Lewis to do a couple races this season in an LMP car with the American Le Mans series. Uh, I'll also run a few races in the Speed World Challenge. I'm gonna run on Sunday also. So I'm double duty this weekend. And so, uh, I, you know, just to be able to be able to be in this sport with the caliber of people, world world class drivers, you know, I I, I am humbled, you know, and but um, you know when you get on the track, I don't care what your name is, I don't like you in front of me. That's right. You you want to beat the guy who's ever in front of you, right? Doesn't matter where he's from, right? That's right. That's when the first race started. Is when the first guy, when the second car was invented. Exactly. That's when racing started. <laughs> well, plus, like you've probably been on these streets of Long Beach without a track, so you you know the streets very well here. Yeah, yeah. You know, I know the streets pretty good, um, but I, this is my ninth year here. So there's a lot of tricks to this place. You know, uh, it's it's a crowded field. You know, when you have 30, 35 cars on a street course like this, you know, uh, a lot of people will depend on, uh, you know, attrition. Is that the right word, attrition? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, a lot of people will depend on people screwing up, you know, and making mistakes, and you take advantage of that. But if you want to be at this level, if you want to be on the top, on, the, on that top step, or the two steps next to it, the top three and be on the podium, you really have to be aggressive. And uh, but you 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 got you cannot make a mistake here. It's a concrete jungle. It's a street fight. Oh, it is. It's a uh, a great place for people to come visit. I mean, we have beautiful weather, and it's a great venue. It's a street course, which yeah. is very exciting. People, even who don't love racing or haven't been exposed to it, get really excited about the sounds. And then for me, my wife's family lives very near here, so we have lots of friends and family wandering around, and it's a blast. Now, where do they live? Uh, they're from San Diego. Oh, San so you're going to have lots of tickets, lots of people coming this weekend. That's exactly right. A lot of dinners out. A yes. lot of keeps you very busy, but it's fun too. Yeah. Let's talk about this track. I know that it's a lot of fun, but very challenging as well. Very, very challenging. You know, this is our only street course this year, and street racing is one of the most difficult things you can do as a driver. I, I had uh, actually the engineer for Ferrari, Rick Mayer, say to me. You know, if I lay a two by four on the ground and ask you to walk along it, you can do it. But if you if I put it up on two 10 foot ladders, it gets a little more challenging. Yes. And that's what street racing is like. You can't make a misstep or else the car is broken and you're out of the race. It's also challenging the fact that you're driving out through different classes of cars. Talk about that. Well, of course, we do that at every race. And that is one of the great things about this style of racing is that traffic is an issue for everyone. One of the things that's new this year is there are some classes that uh, are, uh, they're called the challenge classes. There's challenge prototypes and challenge GT cars, and that's a new mix for all of us. And, you know, one of the big issues is that, you know, you never uh, really are fully focused on the racetrack. You're half in your mirrors and half planning how you're going to get through slower traffic and making sure you don't bulk somebody from one of the higher classes. How did you get involved in racing? By pure accident. Johannes van Overbeck's father, the, one of the lead drivers for the new Extreme team, uh, had been. Uh, he and I worked together, and he he uh, pestered me for years to go uh, down to Skip Barber and do some racing. He knew I would like it. Uh, he just didn't know exactly how much. Wow! Yes, because definitely when you're doing it for a living, you're loving it. Yeah, that, exactly. Well, it's one of those things, you know. If you haven't been exposed to motorsports. You really, you know, people should come out and see it. This is a great venue, and and most people find it very exciting. Yes, and uh, it's a great pleasure to be able to race in California. You know, it's an important market for our sponsors. This is a fantastic venue, so I'm really excited. First time in Long Beach. Yeah, and you know, so many of the venues that you drive in don't have a lot of fan base because they don't, they can't get to the tracks as easily as they can get to here in Long Beach. Yeah, that's the beauty of those uh, street tracks. And also, you know, from a driver's standpoint, there's an extra excitement of having the wall so close to you. I actually, I love. This is my first uh, street experience, but I really, really like it. So you went out this morning on the track. What was it like for you being your first time? Well, I think the, the biggest difference is there's no traction, right? The car is not rubbered in. Uh, so 
We uh, we struggle a little bit with brake zones uh, initially, but uh, the car is well balanced. The track is fun. Um, not very physical. I was surprised. Um, maybe the heat will help uh, put a little bit of pressure on us in that sense. Um, and it's it's really pleasant. So uh, they, what was interesting is that there's very little difference in performance between the GTC cars and the GTs. And so I think tomorrow we're going to see a lot of fighting amongst different classes, which is going to be fun for the... That's what makes the sport so fun. Yeah, I mean, that's that's why I love ALMS. You know, I, I think this is really the, the premier uh, opportunity to race in a road racing environment in, in the U.S. And I feel very fortunate to be here. All right, now, where are you from? I'm from Thousand Oaks. That's where I'm from. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, I was born in Thousand Oaks. I went to school in Oak Park and uh, Agora. Yeah, it's, it's, it's so crazy. It's like you are really home being here in Long Beach. It is. It's the place that I came as a 12, 13 year old sneaking into the pits to see my favorite drivers. I loved coming here every year. We used to camp out when they let motorhomes in. It used to be wild in the infield. So who, were you, who did you watch when you were a kid coming out here? I most remember 93 when Mansell came from Formula One and was racing here for Newman Haas. Uh, I think that was one of the times where I really got into which teams and which drivers and which types of cars. But I was you know, 13 or 14 years old at that time, so I was still just finding my feet. But I uh, definitely remember Indy Lights and Atlantics. I remember one year when Vince Neal ran here, I think he was in an Indy Lights car, and he was like slamming the wall every session. It was awesome. But he was like one of my heroes as a kid because I loved Motley Crue. So now, in growing up in Thousand Oaks, did you drive in car? Did you race in car races? Yeah, I was uh, living in Oak Park. My dad was surfing up in Oxnard, and he called my uncle, his little brother, and he's like, go-karting's alive and well. They did it as kids in... Uh, Glendale Burbank area in the 50s and 60s with the original Bug Wasp and the Mac 10 and so they were like hey Jim Hall has a track up here so I was five or six years old and started racing and uh, just had a great time and raced all the way up until I was about 16 and then uh, moved to cars. Now you have been at this track before many times what is the most challenging aspect of Long Beach driving along? Long Beach is tough because the track gets grip all the way through the weekend. So every time you go on the track, there's a little bit more grip. I think the other challenge is keeping your eyes on the road because there's a lot of scenery around that can be distracting. But in all seriousness, it's very technical. The corners are 90 degrees a lot of the time, but they're very fast. There's some rises, some off-camber corners. With that, is a traditional street course is usually very flat and just left, right, left, right. Here, you've got a lot of switchbacks, give and take, you know, right, left, sections where you really have to think about the next corner coming up then you get to the, the roundabout corner or the flower pot corner and you've got to use a little bit of the normal terrain to get the car to turn as well so there's a lot of different challenges here when you go to sleep at night do you dream about this track in your head knowing where to turn what to do Absolutely. Before a race, you visualize a lot about what you need to do at the racetrack, what it takes from an aggression standpoint. It's always balancing going as fast as you can, but staying smooth. It's not all about going in a race car and just being the quickest guy. You have to be very technical in how you apply yourself, where to push, where to be a little bit more conservative to give the car a chance to change direction. It's really a physics project. You know, I talked to a lot of young drivers that asked me, what's the most advice that you can give me? And I said, well, really, it's thinking methodically about your racing. It's almost like applying it to hitting a golf ball. You want to hit the golf ball straight first and then get it going far. That's the same thing with racing. You want to get your lines and your footwork and your handwork and your eye work very, very down and very, very structured and then add the braveness to it because everybody thinks, oh, it's just about going out there and going as fast as you possibly can and a lot of times that ends in tears. Yeah. Now, how many friends and family will be coming out this weekend? Always lots of friends and family here. I'm very fortunate that I have a great support system and my close relatives, they've come to love racing. Of course, when you come to Long Beach, it's a little bit cooler than the early days in a go-kart track when you're walking out in the gravel and all dirty and have one little burrito truck. I mean, now they get to have a scene and uh, a lot of uh, beautiful people and uh, beautiful cars, so it's a great spectacle. But no, they're very, very uh, supportive of me and they're very up on their racing terminology and what's going on. So I think Long Beach is a great thing. I spent a lot of my career racing over in Europe and with that I didn't get to see my friends and family at the racetrack as much as I hope so it's great to come back home and race.